welcome back to our channel clear to electrons guys in this video i would like to show you how to make a pulse oximeter using an audio device okay now this is audio nano and this is max uh, p0100 pulse sensor and battery and the ssd 1306 OLED display and on and off switch and some resistors and wires guys okay uh, this pulse oximeter is very essential to us in this pandemic time guys uh, okay let's uh, let's on this switch guys after all it will show pulse oximeter like this and uh, some lines will go like this uh. bpm means uh, hot rate and spo2 means hot uh, and rise okay you can see here on the pulse sensor there will be like we need to keep our finger on the light guys after keeping the finger you can see here some waves will be on the display and some values also in the display bpm means hot air and spo2 means hot uh, sensor yeah you can see here my bpm is 85 and spo2 is 95 days and 110 118 this is the exact value guys 90 and 96 you can see us Okay, 98 and 95, 96 and 97 to show like this. It is approach the value dice. Okay, and then we'll, when we remove our finger, it will show zero. And then when we will keep our finger on the pulse sensor, it will show the values dice. Okay, see here. Uh, 105 and 97. And 102 and 97 it will show uh, approach value only guys okay guys let's see how to make this project and about this project and how to use this project guys let's go Nano. Mats, Mats three zero one zero zero sensor. SSD one three zero six OLED display. Guys, first of all, we should know why we are using particular hardware for this project, guys. Okay, first we know about Audio, Audio Nano. Nano is open source microcontroller, and we can easily upload the code using Audio IDE software, guys. And uh, Audio Nano is very smaller in size, and Audio Nano is very portable microcontroller for this project. And uh, Audio Nano is very low trust. We can easily buy the audio nano and we can easily upload the code using Arduino IDE software. Guys, let's know about Mats T0100 guys. Okay, Mats T0100 is an integrated pulse oximeter and hot rate monitor sensor solution guys. It combines two LEDs, uh, one is a photo detector and uh, uh, optimized optics guys and the low noise unlock signal provides into detect pulse oximetry and hot rate signals guys okay and the uh, max 30100 operates uh, from 1.8 1. 1. volts to 3.3 .3 volts power supply guys and let's know about ssd1306 OLED display guys uh, SSD OLED display is very smaller in size. It is available in two sizes, guys. Okay, and uh, it is very portable OLED display for this project, and we can easily use uh, SSD 1306 OLED display in, in this project, guys. And uh, we can work very easily uh, with the SSD 1306 OLED display, and uh, SSD 1306 OLED display. Operates from 3.3 volts to 5 volts. Okay. Guys, before going to the project, we should know about what is Arduino IDE software, guys. Okay. Why? Because we should know about Arduino IDE software. 
we need to program to the Arduino Nano from Arduino IDE software only guys. So before going to the project, we should know about what is Arduino IDE software. Okay, Arduino IDE is the official software of the Arduino guys, and we can easily work with the Arduino IDE software. Arduino IDE software, Arduino IDE software is available in all all operating systems like Windows, Linux, Mac OS, etc. And Arduino is a cross-platform application that is written in functions from uh, C and C++ languages, guys. And, and we should also know about pulse. What is pulse oximeter? Uh, why because we are doing today pulse oximeter, no, guys. So, so we should know what is pulse oximeter first of all. Uh, a pulse oximeter is a device that is usually uh, usually placed on a fingertip device. It is uh, it uses light beams to estimate the oxygen saturation of the blood and the pulse rate. In this pandemic situation, pulse oximeter is very useful to people and public dice. Nice. Now we learned about uh, hardware and software dice. Let's go to the circuit dice. Guys, you can see here this is our circuit dice. Uh, this is a sensor, pulse sensor, and uh, this is display and uh, audio. And guys, we are using in this circuit to four point seven resistors. Guys, you can see here clearly. And we are keeping the uh, on and off switch and one battery dice. Okay. Uh, first uh, we should uh, we should connect one side of the resistor to five volt pins you can see here okay both resistors uh, one side pin is connected to five volt pins okay you can see here okay and uh, we should connect uh, positive and negative pins of uh, uh, pulse sensor OLED display. See clearly. Red wire and black wire are the positive and negative pins. And uh, SCL pin of the pulse sensor is connected to SCL pin of OLED display device. And HDA pin pin of pulse sensor is connected to HDA pin of uh, OLED display. You can see here clearly. Okay. And uh, uh, HDA pin of uh, OLED display was connected to the register and the register was connected to the F4 pin okay and SCL pin of the OLED display is connected to register and uh, from the register to F5 pin of the Arduino okay guys this is the simple circuit okay let's uh, let's make it on the PCB dice okay Let's draw. Connect your uh, Arduino to your system and uh, select your board. We are using in this project Arduino Nano Dice. Okay, and uh, select the processor and uh, port also. Okay, we should uh, select our SSD 1306 size rice. Okay, we need to change here. Okay, and uh, click on upload button. Guys, you can see here the code was uploaded. Now we will solve all the components on PCB. Guys, after uploading the code, we will place the all components on our PCB guys. Okay, you can see here Arduino Nano and uh, LCD display will be here and uh, match sensor pulse sensor will be here and uh, on and off which will be here and one battery okay you can see here battery and uh, resistors will be here okay uh, let, let's solder all the components on our PCB dies you can see here I have soldered all the components on PCB dies you can see here bad side soldering and uh, SSD display, audio, nano, pulse sensor, Arduino, switch, and some wires and some registers. Okay, now uh, we will on the switch. You can see a pulse oximeter. We need to keep our finger on uh, light, guys. 
BPM means heart rate and SpO2 means heart season rise. You can see here some waves on the display. And you can see here 108 and 97, 114 and 97. It will show approx value rise. Okay, 110 and 98. Guys, if you like this video, please share and subscribe to our channel, guys. Okay, I will give you code and circuit diagram of this project in description, guys. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe it, guys.